Hi, Tiago here, and I'm going to show you how you can create a PWPS inside of Weld Cloud Notes. So what you do is you click on the WPS menu and then on the PWPS menu. Afterwards, you will be able to find your existing preliminary WPSs or you can create a new one like I'm going to do now. So I'm going to introduce PWPS demo video 001 and it's ASME section 9. So after clicking the button to create a preliminary WPS, it will start giving you the option to introduce everything in the fields. So there is the company which you select. If you only have one company in your uh, Wild Cloud Notes account, this will be automatically filled. Uh, there is also a section for additional information, which can be used to introduce notes, construction standard, or others. So let's start by filling in the details. I These fields are uh, filtered for a standard, so I'm going to introduce GW or Groove Weld for ASME Section 9. So it's going to be a pipe, a butt joint, and let's do a two-process WPS. And um, let's go with manual and semi-automatic with 6G uh, for... Um, the welding positions because this is going we're going to use this as a test uphill um so transfer mode will be a uh, spray and uh, let's go with dc minus dc plus and let's go with multi-layer single side no backing in these checkbox you will be able to introduce the preheat post heat post weld heat treatment but in this case i'm just gonna make something like introduce an interpass temperature so let's move on to the base materials and where I'm going to select uh, a 316L. So let's let it filter. Uh, you can introduce the similar grade thickness or diameters um, through this checkbox, but in this case, I'm going to use both uh, equal. So let's say 10 to 12 millimeters thick. And as far as the welded thickness, it's going to be 10 to 12. Uh, as far as the diameter, let's go with 300 to 350. Um, the um, thickness for the uh, first process will be, uh, let's go with 3 to 5, and then it's going to be 5 to 9. Uh, I'm going to select the grinding and machining preparation methods, but these can be customized for your account, and then selecting a groove design. So I'm going to select this half V here, uh, but you can customize it for this WPS specifically uh, with our inbuilt tool, uh, or you can um, craft them from scratch, make your own sketches in here. But in a, if that doesn't work anyway, you can also upload any existing sketches you might have. A note automatically fills in the weld layer configuration if it has a matching sketch, but otherwise you can always select a different one. So let's go 35 to 40. Two, one to two, one to two. Okay, let's move on to the consumables. And in here, uh, we're going to select a compatible um, filler metal, which will be an ER316L as well. So let's go like this. And I'm going to select another ER316L in here as well. And here we go. So it's going to be a 2.4 and 1.2. Uh, so this is a wire. This is a tick rod. Uh, and let's select the gas. So we're going to go with argon in the in the R, in the tick part. So let's go with 12 to 14. And then it's going to be argon CO2 in the MIG part. So let's go with uh, something like 18. Sorry, not 18. It's let's say 92 8 and in here it's 18. let's move on to the welding passes and in here you will be able to introduce uh, specifically uh, what are the passes like in this wps so let's select the gtaw portion 100 to 120 and the 12 to 14 and let's go with 90 uh, millimeters per minute and confirm so we have one pass now and now let's add the other one. So essentially it's just filling in stuff through the uh, interface. So let's go with 150 to 115 to 18, and let's say 150 to 200, and confirm the changes.
There is uh, another section, which is the other, which we, which you can introduce the stick out, electro type, stuff like that in here. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this WPS, but because it's just text fields. Um, and now from here, you can do two things. Either you create a qualification, so you can create a PQR a certificate or a standard WPS from this PWPS. Um, this will prompt you to introduce some details and um, this will be the test that you do for qualification and then uh, it will automatically calculate the approval ranges for the PQR or you can export it into a PDF like I'm going to do now. So what this does is it's starting to generate it on our server and then it will give you the file for you to download and puts everything into a single page which is your WPS that you can give to your welders. It has two languages that you can customize in the company section of WeldCloud Notes. And that is how you create a PWPS in WeldCloud Notes.